Hi, I've been meaning to talk about this uh, bearing for the Piper Comanche for some time. Uh, today is the first time I've got a chance to actually videotape this. These bearings were removed out of the airplane that I bought several years ago. Um, I wanted to show you that they're very hard to see um, if they are in fact good or not. Um, when I purchased the airplane, uh, there was no outward signs of uh, resistance when using um, the control surfaces. But if you try to spin these bearings, they just don't spin. There's, they're just so corroded and so rusted that they're next to impossible to spin. So I can only imagine what kind of forces were being uh, applied to, um, to the aircraft during flight. Uh, I'm glad that my AMP spent the time to, uh, to review these and to uh, suggest these be replaced uh, when he, once he saw these. Um, just take a look here. I'm going to point. You can see that some of the protective uh, coating from where the bearings are supposed to be hidden behind are, is, is completely gone. I'm going to uh, start to dissect this and uh, we're going to see uh, what we can actually find behind here and how bad it is. Um, give me a second here to yank this out. So you can see that I have removed the spring clamp and now I'm removing this protective material from the bearing. Uh, this feels like paper almost and it's very brittle. You can see that it's been um, like this for some time. Um, the bearings completely rusted all the way around. There's no lubrication whatsoever on these bearings. If you've got a Piper Comanche and you've never had these bearings replaced, um, which in my airplane appears to be the case, it appears to be uh, the original bearings from 1961 or 1962, um, I would strongly suggest that you have your AMP take the time to um, look at these. I just can't believe I can't move any of these bearings and they're just completely covered in rust. Um, anyways, I hope this video helps, encourages you to, uh, to purchase uh, the bearings. Uh, they cost me approximately $150 a piece, and there are two of them that go into the uh, stabilator of the uh, Comanche. Hope this video is useful. Thanks.